Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining Hawaii Betsuen Sunday service. My name is Cindy Ah, and I am your MC for today. Today's service order is Vandana and Tisarana Sutra chanting, verses reaffirming the vows, message by Reverend Yuika Hasebe. Gatha Nembutsu. Start today's service by chanting of Vandana and Tisarana, led by Reverend Yuika Hasebe. Thank you very much. Today's sutra chanting is verses reaffirming the vows. For those here in person, due to COVID-19, only the minister will chant the sutra. I have made a river vows and we Supreme way is my 
Namo Amida, Namo Amida, Namo Amida. At the beginning of my talk, I would like to read a passage from Shinna Shonin's writing, Sho Shinde, quoted from Kyogyo Shinsho, The True Teaching, Practice, and Realization of Pure Land Way. So let us together bow our head in reverence. Bokuju Akuni Yuisho the person who burdened with extreme evil should simply say the name. Although I too am within Amira's grasp, passions obstruct my eyes and I cannot see the light. Nevertheless, great compassion is untiring and illumines me always. Namo Amida. Namanda, Namanda. Good morning. How are you today? Everybody good? Everybody good? Zoom too? <laughs> So uh, thank you very much for joining Power Fitting Sunday service. This is my first in-person and Zoom hybrid type of the uh, English service. So during and then after the strict lockdown, Bitsin was very, very quiet. And then sometimes I walked around the temple in the early evening. I often remembered the days that we were all here together. There were so many laughters, cheers, and maybe tears, but the temple was so silent during the lockdown. But uh, during the lockdown and uh, up until recently, as I said, Beijing was has been very, very quiet and silent. But day by day, because of the doctors, nurses, and hardworking of uncountable essential workers, people are able to come back to town, as well as here at the Hawaii Wednesday. When I started to see more and more beautiful ladies and heard their laughter and chit chat at benches, corner of the annex temple, or entrance of the business office. I truly felt that this white, beautiful temple, which looked a bit gray to me during the lockdown, now it stood flourish again with so many beautiful colors. Day by day, I have been felt the Beijing is awakening and they're ready to reopen. It may take a little while, but I hope someday soon that we can fully open again. Yes, Beijing is a place for Onemutsu, but it is always great to enjoy the Onemutsu with our fellow travelers, with warm sangha, and with friends. So today, I would like to talk about mimamoru, or watch over. I am not sure that watch over is accurate translation, but in Japanese, we often use the word mimamoru, which usually translated as watch over. But the literal meaning is watch and protect. So when I was high school student, I had to be in the hospital over a year and a half. 
My sickness wasn't serious or nothing fatal, but uh, I had to be hospitalized for a while. Because of the Japanese medical system, the medical expense wasn't too expensive, but I am sure it was a huge burden to my parents. I was never hospitalized for such a long time and then didn't like to be separated from my family. And I, I didn't like to stay in the hospital at all. For example, I wanted to use my pillow, which I used at home every night. When I was young, I always believed that I couldn't sleep at the hotel bed or any other unfamiliar places. But now, surprisingly, I can sleep almost anywhere. Pillow? Any pillow is fine. <laughs> so, so the last, but the, um, you know, the young time, the life at the hospital wasn't easy and took quite a long time for me to settle down. In Japan's hospital, the nurse comes to check the patient every night. Probably about, I believe, twice a night they came to check. And I think I was a bit nervous when I was at the hospital. And then usually my sleep was very shallow and I was easily to wake up with the sounds of people's footsteps or flushing sound of the toilet. But the, as the night went on, I too felt sleepy and I fell asleep. All of a sudden, I hear the sound of <laughs> The curtain was open and the bright light of the flashlight <laughs> illuminated my face. It was a nurse. The, you know, the light always woke me up and then I didn't like it. And I always thought, oh, I wish the nurse doesn't point the flashlight to my face. It's always bothered me and it wakes me up. However, recently, I read the book written by Reverend Shoujo Tachikawa. He had exact same experience like me, but he understood this matter completely different. In his book, Reverend Tachikawa wrote as such, while I sleep in the hospital bed, the nurse came to check my room. It is embarrassed to say, but my sleep was shallow because I sometimes fell asleep during the day. I could sense the nurse enter the room. Quietly, I just closed my eyes. Suddenly, the bright light crossed my face. I awoke that the nurse was checking on me. The warm feeling of being watched, Mimamoru, filled my heart and it gave me a great relief. So Reverend Hashawa, when he sensed the light of the nurse's flashlight, he realized that the nurse was there for him to make sure that he was okay. He must realize that he was not alone in the room. Reverend Tashikawa realized that he was watched over by the nurse and it gave him at ease and it filled his heart with appreciation. When I first read this short essay, I realized that I mistook the meaning of the nurse's light, or, you know, nurse's flashlight over 25 years. And then I realized I also was watched over by the nurse. She made sure I was okay. She probably checked if I was not crying by myself at night or not scared without my family. 
In my memories of those days, I always remember that bright flashlight was something bothered me or annoyed me or less careful action of the nurse, but it was not. The light was manifestation of thoughtfulness, care, and sensuality. I would like to read the passage again. The person who burdened with extreme evil should simply say the name. Although I too am within Amida's grasp, passions obstruct my eyes, and I cannot see the light. Nevertheless, great compassion is untiring and illumines me always. This, the person who burdened with extreme evil, does not only signify the person who does or did bad act, but in this context or in Jodo Shinshu perspective, it means more of whom are driven by the blind passion, the people living a life of self-centeredness, a person of greed, anger, and ignorance, People who take whatever they have as granted and still grumble about others, things, or give life itself. It is nothing special to have food, cloth, electric, water. It is nothing special. My eyes always keep moisture and the brain if it needs. It is nothing special about my stomach digests food really well. <laughs> and it is nothing special to have today because that's how it should be, right? Or I question myself, is it really? People who receive those without any questions and being blind, but they're receiving and not knowing how special they are. It is ordinary, regular people. It is about me, and maybe it is about you. To are such a person, Jinna Shon said. Listen to Amida Buddha's calling. You've been called over immeasurable time of period, not to exclude anyone. And then because of you, Amida took five kalpas of long time to complete the vow and then manifest it as Namo Amida Butsu. Please recite Dhamma Butsu. Being embraced, we are always in the center of Amida Buddha's heart. It's always we are the one in the center. We are always watched over, over by Amida Buddha. We are not aware of it, and most of the time we forget or even ignore about it. But Amida Buddha does not. Great compassion, always embracing us in day and night. When we look the, at the flashlight, some people think about it as a trouble, and then others think about it as blessing. Let us not mistook the true meaning of the light and the place our hands together with the feeling of appreciation. So thank you very much for listening. This concludes my message. So as a conclusion, let us recite on Ebutsu. Namo Amidavati. Namo Amidavati. Namo Amidavati. Namo Amidavati.
We will now sing the Gatha Nembutsu. If you are able to, please rise. This concludes today's service. Thank you very much for joining us today.